Okay, so now that you have downloaded the Actually Speak app, I'm gonna show you how to create an account and start using the app. Uh, let me click on the app here and it is going to take me to this screen and I can get started and I'm gonna sign up as an educator and I have to accept the terms of service first. You can look through the terms of service here but if there's anything you don't understand please feel free to email us and uh, when you finish looking through this it just gives uh, a lot of information about what terms and conditions you need to accept to use the website and the app and when you finish you can go back and you also need to accept the privacy policy. So again, you click on it and you look through the different terms and conditions here. And this is typical of many uh, websites and services. And we need to do this to make sure that Adjuling follows all of the laws in the U.S. and other countries in terms of protecting your privacy. So after you finish, um, you're going to click Educator here and I'm going to log in with Google. Okay, actually, um, it just logged me in with the email that I already signed in. Uh, with this phone so i'm gonna choose an avatar here and now i'm gonna click on this and i'm gonna use at juling as my username you can create any user username that you want and the username is gonna be shown when you talk to other people but other information is hidden you should also enter your um enter your date of birth as well and i'm gonna allow a recording of my conversations when i choose to record them so now i uh, i'm done with my profile now that you are on the home screen you can see some banners that give you some information about the app and you can browse through the different types of topics and tasks here you can choose from different conversation topics. You can solve some crossword puzzles together. You can talk uh, about different IELTS topics. And we have part one, part two, and part three here. You can um, use picture description tasks. You can also describe pictures so that you and your partner can find differences. Uh, you can also work with another student to choose uh, to sequence pictures and you can also put together sentences based on the words that are given in sentence unscramble. Now you can also scroll more. Uh, let's just say here you see some tasks here, but there are more. This is like Netflix. You can choose the different tasks you want to play. If you want to see more, click on this and you can see more there. Some of the tasks are not available for now and they are gray, but later on, um, if you want more access, you can also have more access here. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to decide to choose maybe just the first task here. And now you are waiting to be connected with someone else. If no one is here, then you have to wait for a long time. Uh, but if a lot of people are here, maybe you will be connected right away. At this time, my advice is for you to make an appointment with a friend so that you can be on the app at the same time and you can choose the task at the same time as well so that you're connected and talk with each other. Again, because the app here allows students to talk in pairs, uh, so you need two people in order to use any of the tasks here. Uh, later on, when we have thousands of people using the app and we may have hundreds of people on the app at the same time, you will be connected 
more quickly. So I hope that this video helps you to start using the app. But if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to us or uh, to join our Facebook group called uh, English Learning Opportunities. Uh, and one more thing I want to show is that as an educator, you can manage your class. So if you click on it, you will need a code to activate it. So just email us and we will give you a code. And after that, you can add students uh, under you uh, in your account. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you will explore that, the app and download the full version when it is available uh, on the App Store later. Thank you.